Welcome, fellow Tarnished, to Dark Fantasy Games, a channel dedicated to Elden Ring and the Dark Fantasy genre. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a few tips with you on how I defeated the ancient hero of Zamor. You might be new to the game and finding this boss particularly hard, or you might just want some pointers on how to defeat him. Now the great thing about beating this boss is when you do, you will be rewarded with the Radagon Scar Seal, which is a talisman that you can equip, increasing your vigor, endurance, strength and dexterity by three points. However, this will also increase the damage taken from enemies, so use this with caution. Now you will find this boss in an area called the Weeping Evergale, which is in the Weeping Peninsula area of the map, which is probably southwest from Limgrave, which is the area you first start out in. I'm just showing you on the map here a few locations so you can get your bearings. Now you will need a stone sword key to be able to access this particular boss. However, there is a merchant just to the southwest of this area that does actually sell some. So before we fight this boss, I just wanted to test out some of his moves and I'm just going to share a few of them with you now because he doesn't necessarily do all of them in each boss battle. So let's take a look at this one. He does this crouching animation where he will infuse his sword. It gives you a moment to be able to attack. After doing it, he will do this really quick spinning attack followed by a huge lunge and then a couple of really powerful spins. He'll also do a shockwave, but this is the main one you want to look out for. He will do this huge cyclone attack, which will cause frost damage to you. It's pretty devastating. So really, it's about knowing what sort of attacks to watch out for for this boss. He can close the gap between you and him very quickly. So for those of you casting at range or attacking from range, just be aware of that. You want to try and attack him at those moments when he's charging up because there is a bit of time there to be able to attack. So we are using our Flame of the Red Mains, which is an Ash of War on our sword. He will sometimes crouch down and blow out this cone of frost, which you can avoid by moving to the right or left of it when he crouches down and blows into his hand. He does dodge quite a few attacks, but we are continuing with our Flame of Red Mains here because it does an awful lot of damage to him. He seems to be weak to fire. That's removed his super armor now, giving us the opportunity to do a critical attack on him, which has done a massive amount of damage. So now he's bending down and infusing his sword with frost here. We can now run in quickly and get a few hits on him because he does have a massive delay after doing that. We managed to block that attack there with our 100% physical block shield and then use our flame of red mains to finish him off. So he doesn't seem too difficult on the surface after watching that, but trust me, if he gets some of those massive attacks off, he can be quite hard. But if you've taken any tips from this video, then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Watch this space for more Elden Ring. And before I go, I'd just like to say, may you be blessed with a curseless journey.